This is Advanced Power Incorporated. We're out here today going to do an install on a large helical rotor high flow deep well pump. We've already set our pole that our panels will go on. We set it a couple of days ago so it would have time to set up. We've got a five inch well casing here, a new well that's been drilled for this particular application. Uh, this particular landowner wants to take this water from this well and he's already ditched his pipeline uh, up to the well and it goes around that pond dam and we'll be pumping this water into a pond. We're going to be installing a pitless adapter which will be down 20 inches or so below the ground level that way we don't have to worry and covered back up that way we don't have to worry about freezing weather. Everything will be plumbed down below the frost level here into that pipeline which is buried below frost level and we will run it on around there and that will eliminate having to worry about any freezing weather application or problems. We've already attached our pump to the pipe hanging this on one inch black roll poly 125 PSI pipe We've got our wire already taped to it already did the necessary plumbing gonna roll the pipe out have it we can just slide it right in the well we'll be putting a thousand watt solar array up today it's our K1000H system okay we're gonna mount the panels on the pole We will be attaching an additional wind brace here, setting the panels to south so they'll catch the sun. Installing a ground rod for tightening a set bolt. On off switch, installing our bolt for our copper for the ground protection. Tightening our adjustment bolt for your tilt angle. Move it a couple of times a year for optimal performance. Lower in the winter, a little flatter in the summer. Attaching our copper wire to our copper ground rod. Again, we're going to be using a pitless adapter. We've taped a simple feed sack here to a piece of PVC. We're going to run it down in this casing to catch our shavings where we install our pitless adapter. We've got to drill a hole here and we want to catch those shavings and not let them get down the well. Got a hole saw here. We're simply drilling a hole in the side of this PVC well casing so that we can install our fitless adapter. Now we're going to remove our pipe with our sack, and it should have caught any shavings that would have fallen inside. Got our hole installed here. When you install a pitless adapter, you will need some type of pipe to run out the top of your casing. You'll attach your pitless adapter to it. We've already plumbed that all in. Now we're removing the outer portion of the adapter. We'll use this pipe to slide down in the well casing and then poke the brass threads out the hole. Okay, we're going to run this pitless adapter that we attached. We uh, put a, T, a large T at the top. These pumps are fairly heavy, weighing just over 40 pounds, these larger pumps. 
So we're gonna need that T to be able to hold on to the pump pipe once we get our pitless installed here. So we're gonna run it down and try to find the hole there. They just brought it through. Now we'll reattach the outer portion of the adapter. We're going with a one inch adapter here and one inch PVC line. Okay, now we're gonna remove this and when he gets to the top, I'll have him stop and you can see the portion of the pitless that remains on the top. This is what we'll hook our pump to. As we slide it down, that'll slide back in the slot of the piece that remains. Okay, here's the pitless adapter portion that we'll actually attach to the pipe that goes on the pump. And this piece will slide down in and, and lock into place in the portion that we've already placed in the way. And this deal on top is what you screw your pipe into that you lower your pump down in the well with. We'll show more of that in a moment. Rolling out our safety rope, we've got it attached to Sliding a couple of clamps on here to uh, attach a piece of this. Right. We use two clamps here as a safety caution. Down. We've slid our one inch pipe onto our hose barb adapter. Okay, we're taping our rope to our pipe and wire, our safety rope. Adding some reels of tape to it every 15, 20 feet or so along here just to make sure it doesn't get too messy in the well. Assisting this rancher. We just hit water. I'm going to continue to slide the pump in probably another 30 feet or so, approximately. Okay, we have made it to our T-pipe that will allow us to slide our interior piece of pitless into Okay, now we're gonna we got the slot. Find the groove. Yeah, they just slid into place. Okay, we're unscrewing our T-pipe out of the top of our pitless adapter. Got it slid into place. Move it from the well. We've got our wire and our rope here. Attach the wire to the panel. Okay, now we're doing our plumbing and attaching our one inch fitting. We've got our wire out. We drilled a small hole in the side of the casing to run our safety rope out and attach it. And we will be applying some conduit to uh, cover the wire going over to the pan. We're digging us a small tube here to take our conduit. Solar panel holes to run our wiring up so we can attach it by adding our conduit and the wire running up here to the well seal. already made some measurements and some cuts.
work. Apply a little blue and primer. So you want to rinse there so Okay, we're going to apply some glue and primer here and attach our one inch pipeline pipe to the place as well. Piece of one inch PVC we brought out of the pivot cement. This blue wrench is what we call a high volt wiring connector wrench. It'll come with the system and it attaches it up. Okay, we're going to attach our wire here. That attaches these high volt connections. Got a heat gun and we're heating up our connections here. Got a little trouble with the Oklahoma wind today as usual, so we're having to be a little creative with some wind break here. Can you see the show when you get to it? As a point of note here, we will mention we did not connect our green wire, simply our red and our black wire, since this is an DC application. If we were connecting this to an AC power source, your green wire would be needed as your ground. We have got everything installed. We've turned the switch on, and now we'll go see We are pumping water at the pond. Might also notice in this application they're cutting a bunch of these cedar trees out of here as they are terrible water hogs and will use up your water. It's best to remove as many cedars as away from the desired pond location as possible. come down here and we have approximately 12 to 13 gallons a minute flowing out of our one inch line. We've completed the installation of a K1000H, 1000 watts of solar, a helical rotor pump, on off switch, all our wiring, we're in conduit, over to the well with our pump cable, pump wire, and we have our ground rod installed. 